Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to be doing some benchmark testing on the Dell XPS 15 9510 and uh, first of all I would like to apologize with the unboxing video I did yesterday where I mentioned that the old name for the 11th generation of uh, H processors is Rocket Lake and it should be Tiger Lake so a YouTuber uh, corrected me and you know I try to give us as best uh, the most correct information as possible but uh, sometimes I mean uh, you know we're not experts we we mess up so I would like to apologize on that so here is the here's the computer right now on idle I want to point out like I want to get some specifics on the settings I have the only application that is running right now is the task manager and again I'm running Windows 10 uh, Pro and as you can see there I'm gonna try to zoom in with the camera or I should probably just bring this down so that you can have a better um, you can read the text better so that you can see more of the specifications I do not want to go into systems because uh, since this is gonna be a quick video then it's gonna display the serial number and service tag and I want to avoid that from happening so as you can see there you can see the um, the specification is an 11th gen i7 11800H processor and um, it's running pretty much on idle right now there are no other applications running in the background other than system uh, resources and things that have to run in the background uh, as a result of windows as far as the video card here uh, there you can see the specifications of the video card let me bring this down and you can see there that it's an NVIDIA RTX 3050 3050 so let me go back to the CPU let me go back on the tab the C click on the CPU tab right now it's on pretty much on idle it's running at nine nine five percent and so on it does this little peaks so what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna start Cinebench and uh, you know that's what we're gonna be running today uh, Cinebench test and this takes approximately 10 minutes if I'm not mistaken uh, before I start the Cinebench program what I'll do is that I'm gonna close the task manager because um, in order to make the in order to make, make the benchmark test as uh, realistic as possible I'm gonna close task manager so nothing else is gonna be running in the background no user initiated programs only background resources and um, so let me go ahead and do that now I'm gonna close task manager task manager has been closed this is Cinebench R23 and I'm about to begin the test and so that you can have an idea you know what um what the test results are are like for the Dell XPS 9510 2021 model so I'm gonna go ahead and start the test now we're gonna use we're gonna do the um I'm gonna start doing the multi-core why not so I'm gonna start by clicking on multi-core the multi-core test so here we go So it's preparing to start. It's a practice. This test takes approximately 10 minutes, and so I'm not gonna waste your time here for the entire 10 minutes. So by the time it's done, when the test is done, it's over. I'm gonna show you the uh, the result, and you know there you have it. You're gonna get the first results of uh, the new Dell XPS 15. Um, running on the 11th gen the 11th gen H series processors and an RTX uh, 3050 Ti alright guys alright guys so we're now at 1 minute and 42 seconds we have 1 minute and 42 or 39 seconds left for the test to be completed and um, I do not know if you can hear the fans but uh, the fans are kicking but uh, they do not, they do not sound that loud. 
I don't know, you can be the judge. Listen to this. I'm going to be quiet like for five seconds. So you could hear the fans running, but uh, I mean, they don't sound, they're not annoying. They're not annoying. So now it's at 55 seconds, 55 seconds. And this is running a benchmark on the Dell XPS 15, 95, 10, running Cinebench R23, running the multi-core test. So we're not at 44 seconds and I'm gonna leave the camera running. I'm gonna try to zoom in as much as possible so that you can, we can both see the, uh, the results together. So 27 seconds. We're gonna zoom in. 18 seconds. It's now at 12 seconds. Mm -hmm. Almost done, guys. Five seconds. Two seconds left. And it's done. The benchmark test is done. And I should hear the fans begin to slow down now. It is done, although we don't have the results yet. So we're right below the i9. We're, we are right below the i9 uh, 9880H CPU. Okay, we got it. So we're getting a 8,954. 8, Let me zoom in there. Well, let me zoom out so that you can see that it's Cinebench R23. Cinebench R23. And this is a benchmark test on multi-core on the Dell XPS 15 9510 model running the Intel 11th Gen i7-11800H processor. So I'm zooming in and this, these are the results. So the results for this machine on Cinebench R23 running the multi-core test is 8,954. There you go, guys. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna start running the uh, single core test. When I'm done, I'm gonna post the results for that one. Okay, so here I'm back. I am now gonna run the single core test on Cinebench R23 for the Dell XPS 15, 95, 10 model, 2021 model. So here we go. The test has started and it's gonna be another 10 minutes. So when I am done with this test, with the single, you know, the uh, single core, I'm gonna merge them both together and I'm gonna post this as soon as possible so that any, you know, any viewers out there, you wanna know, you know, the benchmark results on the Dell XPS 15, 95, 10 model, you can have an idea. All right, guys, so we have the result. I don't know what happened because the test had been finished, but the images kept rendering on the opposite side. So the results for the single core test on Cinebench R23 on the XPS 9510 is 1,487. So here you have your results, guys. My apologies. So this has been a Cinebench R23 test on the XPS, new XPS 15 2021 model, 9510. And for, for the uh, multi-core test results, it, for this unit is 8,954 points. For single core is 1,487 points. All right, guys, thank you.